Hello again guys, welcome back to Hammer and Anvil Gaming. Uh, the World Betrayed DLC is now here for Total War Three Kingdoms. And this means that Lubu is now a playable faction from the get-go at the start date 194. Um, so obviously you could play as Dong Zhuo, get him killed off, and then have Lubu become your faction leader if you make him your heir. Um, but this actually lets you dive right in. Um, so he's got his usual faction-wide buffs uh, to shock cavalry and uh, for the additional morale in enemy territory. But he's now got his own uh, pair of unique faction resources, so he's got momentum and personal victories. Uh, and it will give you a bit of a, an overview of it when we get into the map, so let's start the campaign. All sons are born in the shadow of their fathers. But the day will always come when they must stand alone and are faced with a choice. Do they follow the path put before them? Or take a different road? It has been four long years, yet China is no closer to knowing peace. Although the tyrant is dead, his successors bicker over the emperor who remains their captive. As warlords the land over seek to realize their ambitions, the conflict widens and the people's suffering continues. Yet as the ages turn, the fathers die, and the land with all its chaos is inherited by their children. Much has changed since you struck down the tyrant Lu Bu. The following years have not been easy. Betrayals, insults, but they will see I am not done. Everyone will yet know my glory. You have risen in defiance of Cao Cao. But he has returned from his campaign, and surely intends to suppress your insurrection. Cao Cao is weak, like Yuan Shao and all the rest. He lacks the strength to claim the throne. Be that as it may, he fields a considerable army. Your first move should be to find a defensible position. Yet a protracted siege of Chen will not work to your advantage either. Plague and famine have ravaged the supplies. It may be impossible to defend. What can be done then? Defeat him in open battle? Perhaps. His flanking force approaches. If you defeat them, then it will give you the opportunity to retreat north and regroup. Cao Cao will know my fury in time. They all will. Soon, the warrior without equal will prove that his might is beyond even that of the Emperor. Rebel without a cause. Okay, so we need to escape Chen, replenish our armies, and then turn round and defeat Cao Cao. Okay, so we need to fight Jahudun. Um... We get a few nice rewards there. Ooh, 
Ooh. That's really cool. Minus 5% retinue upkeep. And the classic affilial pile piety, which we can give to Diao Chan. Okay, so I realized that I'd already started. Um, I already loaded up this campaign, and so it hasn't given us the update again. Um, but yeah, amassing personal victories will grant Lubu prestige and increase income and vassals and mercenary contracts. Income from vassals and mercenary contracts, sorry. However, it will also reduce satisfaction in his court and increase his diplomatic presence as a strategic threat. So basically, our lords, our court nobles, and other factions are going to gradually hate us the better we do. Um, and you can also get uh, momentum by defeating enemy generals in battle. And momentum is increased by defeating other warriors. So, in addition to momentum, mem yeah, momentum, he's got personal victories. Um, so you can check this out. He's got the greatest warriors. Um, so he's already defeated Dong Zhuo and Ding Yuan, who I think both of these characters were like adoptive fathers for Lubu. I'm not sure though. Um, so we need to defeat the Jahu the Jahu brothers, uh, cousins, Jahu Dun and Jahu Wan. You won, who are directly in front of us. As you can see. So they keep saying that Chen is indefensible. And it looks like they might be right. Six turns it could hold out for. Be open to events. You could force march to Chen. I would be really keen to try this campaign. Anybody here? Um, where I, oh, I did. I did start this on legendary, which I didn't intend to do. It would be really cool to rush back and actually try and defend Chen. Um, but. I think for this one, I'm going to play it safe and follow the story, as it were. Right, so we've got a Chancellor, Chen Gong. So let's invoke the council there. Construct a building, construct settlement administration. Mm, that's going to be difficult. If Chen is about to fall. Do not pursue Lubu. <laughs> Good old uh, nod to the classic Dynasty Warriors games. Uh, yeah, we'll take out Jahudun here. Let's do that first. To war as one. So this is probably going to be a piece of cake. Well, obviously it is. So let's just start the battle. I just want to make sure I at least fight one battle in this. These worthless warlords should all be thanking me. I rid them of that tyrant, the one who called himself my father. I thrust my spear into his belly and ended his treason. But now I am hated and hunted. No matter. They will all... Right. Um, nice foresty map. Prepare. 
two units of the uh, heavy Gillian cavalry. And uh, Lubu's actually out of sight here behind this ridge, which is pretty cool. Stand ready! Double time! Take heed, warriors! Forward! God, I forgot how gorgeous this game was. Now, we're not going to duel Zhao Dun because he is obviously a champion character. Let's get a look at the bad boy Boo himself. This seems like a pretty shit flanking force, to be honest. Let's throw some cow drops in front of us. Stand ready! Attend! March! You are too pathetic to survive. Ah, uh, they might have gotten wise to some of the cow drops. I shall revel in your destruction! You are all show and no skill! So we've got a bit of room here to be for our own cow trucks so I'm going to. It's your final battle, so make it count! Your threats will not avail you! Do attention! Show no mercy! Attend! At the ready! Master! Take heed, warriors! Good. We didn't Look, any the enemy runs. Craven. Uh, let's not accept the duel. Steal yourself. Stand ready. Make ready. Ready. Horses. Chen Gong gets close. Double time! Uh, so that he can have his passive debuff. To attention! Make ready! Do attention! The time has come! Yeah, he's 
sprightly running away. General fools! Ha! Excellent. Wow, Lubu killed a lot of, lot of dudes. Will fare me well. Okay, so it's obviously telling us to maintain momentum. Ally with the strong, and you will survive. First blood. Has Lubu kill a character from your kill list? All oh, right, okay, yeah, that was easy enough. Lubu uncharacteristically takes a pause. Sal Sal's forces could not best you in battle, but hunger has left your supplies depleted and your forces weakened. His destruction will regrettably have to wait while you're up, while you re your rest and replenish your forces. Wait while you rest as a typo in there. Maintain a total of twelve units at start of your turn. Okay, and that gives us plus ten percent replenishment and experience experience bonus. Okay, we've got 15 prestige for... As they fight side by side, your general's oh, bonds will deepen as experience. friends or rivals, affecting their... Oh, hey. heard that before, please. Nurture passion! Okay, well, that's reset our movement points. So we can attack. Hold on now. Uh, I can't be bothered. I'm just gonna delegate this. Might have been good to see Lubu duel you at Jaco one. Victory opens many doors. Duty beckons to conquest. Okay, so now we are second mark week. Shannon, hi. bring me news. <laughs> what? Salubu so is actually already married to Lady Yan. That's hilarious. So it looks like it's intended that you divorce her and marry Diao Chan. Okay, so let's make Zhang Liao our Grand Commandant. Think about the other ones for now. For order. Okay, seeing as I've given up Chen, I think I must at least try and demolish these buildings in case South South doesn't even go for it.
and let's hire it. Uh, I am the warrior worth 1,000. Yeah, we're a bit on the poor side, actually. So let's get that retinue reduction on this guy. Now you can give people titles, can't you? So we have five, eight. Yeah, so I think you're supposed to hire Zhang Liao because then it takes you to the over the 12. Deflect with shield, cleave with sword. So we could send Diao Chan as a spy off as an option. Uh, let's actually check diplomacy before I make any more decisions. There's no point getting a trade agreement with Liu Chong because we're about to lose that place. So Zhang Ba might be the better option. It is time we talk. Okay, maybe not. It is time we talked. Prove this. Greetings, well met. Um. Actually, let's see where this takes us first, because the. I thought it was at the start of a new turn. I haven't ended the turn yet. Destroy the following faction, Sal Sal. Learns a lesson in humility. Yeah, I don't... Okay, we can do that. No one likes me particularly much, so maybe it's not worth sending people to become spies. Right, who do we make the Grand Excellency? Gaoshan actually likes us quite a lot. Hao Meng hates our guts. 
So let's make Hao Meng our Grand Excellency. Quickly upon instinct. Okay, so we have this plus ten percent replenishment, so it's probably a good idea to start recruiting some units. Uh, a couple more archers would probably make sense. Oh, they look cool. Like, are we supposed to go for Ying Xuan? Seize opportunities when they arrive. If we recruit a trebuchet, we can. Get Hu Cheng to scout this province. Oh, maintenance cost. Yeah, no way. We can't afford that. Tax rate is negligible, so follow the heart. All right, let's end the turn. Yang Feng has declared war on Li Ju. Zhang Hong. Who's he? Oh, it won't let me click on him. Events. Right, we don't have enough momentum to annex it, so we can attack Ying Xuan instead. Attack! You have started a siege and have several strategies available. Either launch an assault using siege equipment, wait and try to starve the enemy out, or continue the siege while sapping their walls. Right, well, we don't have any sort of time, so let's jump right into this. I have faith in our cause. Although I've just realized this myself. is on legendary difficulty. <laughs> Be wise. Keep your wits about you. Kill them.
There are other battles to fight, if you don't mind. I don't think we have any Vanguard units, do we? No. Okay. Uh... Artillery! Right, I'm gonna aim for this fort wall here. Stand ready! Do attention! Prepare! Cavalry attend! too many men straight off, so... Yeah, let's get through the fort. Where's Zangli out? Shooting fast, right? Make ready. Ah. To attention. Ah. We have breached the walls. Push through. Fast up. Ah. Loose missile. Quick march. March quickly. Let's get Zhang Liao up there fast. Let's get Lu Bu in there even faster. Stand ready. Our warriors run! Craven dogs! That seems pretty crazy. Let tower fools! Excellent work! To attention! Press the attack! Their gates are destroyed! Ooh, 
Ooh, that's a nasty trap. Kill them! Attend! The tower falls! Excellent work! Attack! For the cause! No, my fury! Make ready! No mercy! No, no mercy! The time has come! Switch to normal shot. Oh, excellent. We can now chase down and those guys. Show no mercy. Just like that. Ready to rise. Fight. Prepare. Unleash fury. Spearmen march into the center. Go, go, go! Destroy them! Get Chen Gong in for his diva. That's fine. Our victory grows ever closer to battle. March of the devil. Stop it. I'm not really sure what's going on here. The enemy warriors are running! Ha! Targeting the decent units, the best units. I don't know what was going on there, but it was being buggy as fuck. Make ready! Do not relent! Is he tired or something? Yeah, very tired. Charge! Keep it up! That's right! Attack! ready! The time has come! How are we? Stand ready. Ready. Do attention. Stand ready. To battle. Yeah, this is. You know when you start to doubt whether your mouse is working. Yeah, this is one of those moments. Answer ready. 
Improved in my estimations. Fire! The time has come. Stuck in. Attend. No, no, my fury. Oh. The enemy unit flees. What cowards! Yes! Good! Nice. And they thought that was going to be a Pyrrhic victory. Ha! Okay, well that gives us a foothold against South South. This will fare me well. I feel like Lubu would loot and occupy, so that's what we're gonna do. Yep, Chen is besieged. I'm well aware of that. Thank you. Not you again. Liju does not want one. Personal rivalry minus 60. Terrific. Right, Zhang Bao wants to trade. Shall we begin? That is great. We approve this. What? Weird. Okay, I'm not really sure why our trade is disrupted at this point, but.
put Lady Yan on tax collection. And you on food production. Be open to events. So who's our next target? Uh, defeat Sunsi, Cao Cao, and Liu Bei. Let's actually see how much money we have at the start of next turn. Probably regret doing that. Got no administrators at the moment. Can't do, any ref can't do any reforms yet. Act quickly upon instinct. Let's do military infrastructure and put in uh, patrols, because that will help public order and give us a garrison. Yeah, we are still not making money, which sucks. But now we do have a trade agreement with Zhang Ba. That has actually opened up now. I'm gonna move up to here. Trust instinct. And I'm gonna go into ambush stats. Lying in wait. And then we can recruit some more units. Ooh. The mountains see all. Attend! Warrior worth one thousand. Act quick. Ah! 
comes. Yep. Let's. Uh... Let's end the turn there. Oh shit. Let us talk trade. Okay. Mateng is offering us a mercenary contract against Li Zhe. And they will pay us for it. So let's accept that because we definitely need the money. This has been very encouraging. Character killed, Hao Meng. Character recruited, estimated salary, 200. A treacherous underling, Hao Meng, rebels, rebels against you. You are caught out and forced to flee in your night, nightwear. But thanks to the loyalty and resolve of a young officer named Cao Jing, Cao Jing, the rebellion is quashed. Cool. What's happening? Stuff's... I thought this belonged to... Uh, <laughs> I thought this belonged to Li Zhe a second ago. Okay. The earth grows again. So we need a new Grand Excellency. He would make a good spy. Let's recruit him. And I suppose let's make him spy against Sao Tsao. None of these people like anyone. No one gets on with Libu, this is hilarious. Why does Zhang Mao not get a buff for that? Well, let's put Hua Jing in that post anyway. Keep him happy. Uh, would be good to know what's going on here.
Obey instinct. For order. To duty. We could move on Dion Wei. But then we run into the chance of Sao Sao and Dian Wei attacking Lubu at the same time. Which isn't really what we want. Purge doubt. To war. I think I should have probably not taken that mercenary contract, but I did need the money. Seize opportunities when they arrive. All right, we're going to need to end this fast. Let's make a move on Dian Wei. There is barely anybody here. First, on aggression, we are the Can't afford that building. So it's it's kind of between population growth and an administrator to improve that um, commandery, or we can go with the plus fifteen percent income from peasantry. Let's go with the administrator. Zhang Bao it, Zhang Miao. has reduced uh, construction costs, which is cool. Send a turn there. Yeah, so I figured this might happen. The enemy is bringing reinforcements to the fight. It may be wise to reconsider your strategy and deployment. I'm actually to surprised. counter their extra numbers. We, uh, I'm actually really surprised that it comes up as just a decisive defeat there. So I'm going to retreat anyway. In excitement, we overreach. Oh! 
that is good news for us, because now we can attack Jian Wei. Libu's movement so minimal, it's so annoying. To battle. Okay, I guess we end the turn again. Again, I'm going to retreat. retreat. Okay, this time the AI has been a bit smarter about it. position their armies next to each other. Gift horse, an escorted caravan approaches and your and you recognize the banners of your current employer. Perhaps they harbor doubts as to your loyalties and seek reassurance of your continued support. An envoy is brought before you as men unload chests from the baggage train. Humbly he bows and asks what his lord may offer you in light of your services. Careful not to let your anticipation show you, but peruse the treasures laid before you. Receive a common or refined ancillary. Gold. Fame and fortune. Minus fame and fortune. There is barely anybody here. Ah, uh, I'm going to go with the gold. Though the tyrant is dead, control of the emperor is far from settled. Li Jie and Guo Si. Two of Dongzhou's former generals and erstwhile allies are the ostensible regents, but two such ambitious men could not work together for long. Mutual suspicion has escalated to paranoia, then hostility and gangs of their supporters skirmish in the streets and alleys of Chang'an. Okay. Let's attack Jiang Wei's army. Well, it looks like the game has forced us to do this, so... Let's make the battle happen. Be right back one sec.
Okay, so this this map is kind of perfect because South Sour is coming from behind. Oh yeah, we're attacking John Way, aren't we? Yeah. So South Sour's coming from behind. We can brush the first army, which I plan to do. Take the some deployables, so... Maybe some wooden stakes like that. I'm not going to do anything else, actually, because I'll just end up losing it. This is one hell of a weird map. to fight Sao Sao on this hill. Stand ready! With speed! Run! Double time! Let's run Zhang Liao to the crest Stay of the ready. hill. Oh, that range, man.
I shall revel in your destruction! It saddens me to hear you act so crudely! Keep up! Oh, shut up! Attack! The time has come! Make ready! No, my fury! Our brother is under attack! To them! Prepare catapult! Take down missiles! Ready. I think at the ready. Got this under control. March quickly. Your attention, key soldiers. Fire upon them. Fire upon them. Fire. Cavalry, attend. Attend. Take heed, warriors. Master. To attention. Fight. The enemy warriors are running. Ha! March at the double. To attention! Ready! Move! The enemy general falls! Ha! Prepare! Attack! Ready! Looks like we're Run. taking out Sao Go, go, go! Heal yourself! Sign of the other army so far. The enemy warriors are running! Ha! Let's see if we can track down Jahal you want. Time has come! Run! Run! So I think this patch actually reduced the damage of arrows and then... The enemy general falls! Ha! I was actually surprised that AI didn't choose to reinforce its army.
knocked and ready. Deal yourselves. Take aim. Strike your target. Right, I think our next step is to try and smoke them out with fire arrows. So let's actually fast forward a bit. Side, we should be out of visibility, so we should be able to be hidden. isn't knackered, which is good. Treachery! Hidden enemies! Ha! Watch their tower crumble!
Okay, now's our chance, so let's move Lu Bu into the... Artillery. Says I will win, but I'm not convinced. Now he doesn't want to duel anyway, so. Our victory grows ever closer! Hurry, move! Double time! Move up quickly! Do not relent! Should get both of them, really. The enemy general is fallen. They were no match. Excellent, heroic victory. Oh yeah, feels good. Five hundred kills on that one unit of Shiliang marauders. That's crazy. That is actually bonkers. Victory was never in doubt. Oh, we've captured Zhen Yu. Who is pretty badass. He's got quite a salary. Ally with the strong, and you will survive. Zhao Wan needs to go. We get a cool horse. Even wounded snakes may strike again. Jian Wei would make a valuable employee. For order. We would get a lot of money for releasing Yijin. I have little need of prisons. Let's maintain momentum. Ally with the strong, and you will survive. On the march! The five elites who defeated Yuzhin. But I own Zhang Miao.
friends of Zhang Liao. That's good. Zhang Yang now likes me less. General of the Front. Whoa! That's some crazy momentum, man. So all my characters are really happy now. Obey instinct. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to take out both these guys. Start with Sal Ren. They wasted it. This will fare me well. Keep maintaining my Duty beckons. Act quickly. Take out your gym. Oh, this is savagery. Opportunities will arise from this. Captured him again. This time we could ransom him again. Let them go, but they Multi remember kill. my mercy. <laughs> and maintain momentum. Ally with the strong, and oh, you will survive. Me. Sorry, one sec. Okay, General of the Front we got. Oath Sworn, Chen Gong and our rivals of Jahidun. For order. We could just annex Chen without a fight now. To war. Marquis. So now we got to become emperor. One thing I definitely want to do now is divorce her to marry Diao Chan. I didn't do anything. Let's make her the grand tutor, so leave her as a, a tutor of our children.
and then let's marry him to Diao Chan. Guard post still. Attention, my lord. What do you wish, my Let's lord? Let's move the selected retinue out. Remain dormant. Recruit Diao Chan. Nurture wisdom to enlightenment. Our mercenary contract is rapidly running out, so we need to. Oh, hang on. Fame and fortune. What happens if you reach zero? Yeah, it just breaks the treaty. So we need to actually fight this guy. Nurture passion. Remain flexible to and react then with let's agents. Let's some more units. Riders. Can't afford them, so let's get some more spears. A road stone. And then I think we'll make the Grand Director Jun Yu. All right, Oof, Christ, that was uh, quite a, quite a hectic couple of turns there. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in part two of our A World Betrayed campaign. <laughs>